the Mister's Lab here at Incredible. In today's science experiment is called Optical Illusions. For this experiment, you will need the Optical Illusions PDF that you can find on the Incredible World resource download page. For this, you can either print it if you have access to a printer, or you can look at it on a device like a tablet or a computer. However you want to look at it, it will work either way. Now, I am so glad that we have an incredible God and he made our incredible brains and our incredible eyes. You see, our brains use our sense of sight to interpret the world around us. So what happens when we see optical illusions? Optical illusions occur when our vision tricks our brains into interpreting information in surprising or sometimes even wrong ways. Different people may look at the same optical illusion and reach different conclusions about it. Since their brains interpret the same information in different ways. Would you like to try some optical illusions? I know I would. If you have several people watching with you, it will be fun to see how you may interpret these illusions differently. Let's look at them. In these top illusions, we are having what is called distorting illusions. This first one, what you want to do is look at this illusion and you are trying to determine which red line is longer. In this second illusion, with the arrows, you are trying to find out which line between the different arrows also is longer. And in this third optical illusion, you are trying to determine if the circle in the center here is bigger, smaller, or the same size as the circle in the center here. Now, with these type of optical illusions, you may need to use something like a ruler to measure them for to see if your brain interpreted the right way. Okay, so have some fun trying those top three optical illusions. Now, there's also these other illusions where it's fun to have different people look at them and see the different things that they see. So you try these at home, look at the illusion and see what you see compared to what other people see. Then you can look at the description to see the different choices you have of what might be in the picture. These optical illusions, they are so much fun, but they remind me, okay, that we can start with the same picture, but we can interpret it differently. Just uh, like these three pictures here, we all start with the same facts, but we may come up with a different answer. Now, the way we interpret all the information around us and all the information we get from this world, we call that our world view. It is how we view the world. When it comes to how everything began, we all start with the same facts or the same evidence, such as fossils, for instance. But people can interpret those evidences very differently. Always remember that. We can use the same evidence, but some people will interpret that evidence differently. Let me give you a little quiz. Who is the one who has always been there and who is 100% perfect and true? Hmm. Another question. What is the name of the book that he wrote that is also 100% true? And the third question. Therefore, what book can we always trust? I hope you said that God is the one who has always been there.
and it's 100 percent true and i hope that you said the bible can be trusted as well now you need to make sure you always start with the bible because it was written by god and we can trust god the bible says it that settles it oh i had so much fun doing these optical illusions with you and if you would like to learn more about the amazing evidences of creation that God has given us, you can go to one of my favorite websites in the whole wide world, answersingenesis.org. And remember, start with the Bible. If the Bible says it, that settles it.